Hey guys, it's Peggy, and I wanted to give you guys that were following my journey here a quick update. Um, just a super quick um, recap. Back in May, um, I, I had a, what I assumed was a big, um, nasty lymphedema flare-up. Not only did my left leg and abdomen, which have lymphedema, swelled up really bad, but also my right leg, my hands, my pretty much my entire me was uh, really swollen and, and uh, just super uncomfortable. I was in tons and tons of pain, having pains in my back or kidney area, um, having issues with my stomach and everything else because of all the swelling, 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 swelling in my abdomen. Um, so anyway, um, led me to tons of blood tests and tons of ultrasounds and tons of tests and this and that, which finally landed me at a vascular surgeon who discovered that I had some vascular insufficiencies. Uh, so the hope was that they would go in and close those veins that weren't working. Uh, and that was going to make me all of a sudden way, way better because when your veins aren't working right, it puts an extra strain on your lymphatic system. So we were thinking that the extra strain on my lymphatic system was causing the flare up, which was causing blah, blah, blah. However, what happened <laughs> was not quite um, what we had expected. Um, I had three different surgeries, uh, bed rest in between, did everything the doctor said to the T. Uh, because bed rest isn't my thing and I was kind of hoping to get this done as soon as possible and get it behind me. Anyway, so um, after they did the surgeries on my left leg, uh, which is the leg with lymphedema, it's just swelled really, really bad. So we kind of uh, logicked that out and kind of, you know, brushed that off as well. Even if I get a bruise on my leg, you know, it, it overloads my lymphatic system. So you know, a big surgery, a lot of bru bruising, uh, you know, twice in a row. Um, of course, it's going to overload my lymphatic system a bit. We've just got to let it heal. So we were kind of being very patient with that. Um, meanwhile, they did go ahead and do my right leg. Um, now, my right leg um, did the swelling. It did help. The swelling is gone down in my right leg. Um, I, I don't even know how I did this, but somehow in my bed rest, I managed to tear a muscle in my calf. Um, I guess I jumped out of bed, well, I don't know. Anyway, so where the surgery was not, which is in my lower leg, um, is all bruised and sore as um, crazy. But anyway, aside from that, um, the veins are all looking good in my uh, right leg. The veins were looking good in my left leg right after they did the surgery, uh, but they haven't gone back to check that for a while now. Um, when I went in today for my, what was supposed to be final visit, uh, they measured me. I told them, I said, my left leg's still super swollen. Obviously I still wear my garment. Um, and they measured me and they were like, oh, you're consistently two centimeters larger than when we started, before we started. So um, that's not good. I'm supposed to be getting smaller, less swelling, not more swelling. So I go back in in um, two weeks and they're gonna do another ultrasound just to rule out, uh, make sure there's nothing else vascular going on in that uh, lymphedema leg. And uh, if they find something else, they'll, they'll close that off. If they don't, if they say, hey, your veins are working great, we got all the problems solved, then we will know 100% of this issue is just from the lymphedema and I will need to continue with lymphedema therapy, wrapping at night and all the good stuff, uh, of course, garments and, you know, you know all the deal. So uh, we're just kind of waiting right now to, to find out uh, um, what's going on for sure. Um, and... That's it. That's all I had to tell you guys. So I super do appreciate all the direct messages you guys have sent me, all the hugs and positive vibes and everything. I really do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm just a little bit frustrated, but you know, it can't keep me down. So um, that's what's going on with me. And I will keep you posted as I know more um, what is going on with this lymphedema and what we are going to do to solve it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.